During the microwave-assisted plasma, or MAP, conversion process, crimped or spooled pan fiber feeds into the pretreatment module and proceeds through a steam heating and stretching process. The fiber enters an atmospheric pressure plasma oxidation module, darkening from white to black as it weaves through the first of several oxidation ovens. The number of ovens can vary based on production needs. Inside, the atmosphere is controlled and air temperature is lower than with conventional processing. The special chemistry of the atmosphere accelerates oxidation. The fiber then enters the carbonization phase. Microwaves and plasma provide the energy needed for carbonization. Approximately half the material is vaporized, with gases exhausted through an incineration system that is much smaller, less expensive, and requires less energy than conventional processing systems. Also, surface treatment occurs inherently, which protects the fiber and makes it easier to handle. The remaining material is nearly 100% pure carbon fiber. It is then sized, dried, and packaged, typically by spooling. Experimental data from laboratory-scale experiments suggests that microwave-assisted plasma conversion takes approximately one-third of the time and one-half the energy required for conventional processing.